Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I rise today to express my excitement that this body has taken a strong pro-life stance and likewise that this country is becoming increasingly pro-life. This is not surprising since it's a view that is plainly obvious that we are not talking about a clump of cells but a baby human. Advances in science and medicine make this more clear all the time. In addition to our votes this week to save babies with the necessary medical care that uh, when they are born alive following an abortion, tomorrow my office will be welcoming and hosting pro-life leaders and friends from Ohio's 8th District traveling to Washington, D.C. to participate in this year's March for Life. I am proud to participate tomorrow in the march where we will seek to get out the message that love saves lives. Since Roe v. Wade, nearly 60 million babies with all their potential have had their lives tragically cut short. I look forward to the day when love and sound science finally put an end to abortion. I yield back the balance of my time.